Hello, and welcome to the Z Hut. Today, I would like to show you how to build a basic tilt sensor. Now, there are tilt sensors you can buy already made, little digital electronic ones for using with your microcontrollers or stuff. And uh, those work good, but hey, what if you're in a bind or I mean, you needed it right now or you just prefer to build your own because this cost me almost nothing. I used all recycled parts to build this. And I did build it uh, a little bit bigger than needed just for the demonstration so it's easier to see. Um, for most projects you could build this in a smaller scale and it follows the same principles. And there's also a couple other ways these can be constructed but this is the easiest and most basic so I thought I'd uh, throw one together to show you how it's done. Now this um, would be the kind you know you might most likely find in like a pinball machine or a coin pusher, something of that nature. And what it is, is I got this little stand coming up, then I got a copper wire coming down, and I put a weight on it. Now for right now, I just got a screw wrapped around it. I was going to dig around later and try to find my fishing tackle and probably clamp on a decent sized sinker to the bottom, and that would work perfect. But just for now, I got a screw stuck on the bottom. Any kind of weight, just as long as it's not heavy enough to snap your wire because I just got some thin gauge magnet wire. Then I took some heavier gauge copper wire and I just used a piece of uh, PCV or PVC um, pipe to make a nice little circle and then soldered it together. So we've got two terminals. We got one terminal that hooks to the little loop and the other terminal that hooks to the little wire and you have to sand both of these were enameled so I just took and sanded them off and got them nice and clean. And then I tinned this wire just to make sure it was good and clean. And what happens when you tilt it so far, it'll come into contact and close the circuit. So if you had this like you're hooking it to an Arduino or um, a Raspberry Pi or some other microcontroller, or even you could use this to activate a 555 timer that you've set up as a buzzer. Again, when it contacts, it just completes the circuit and activates whatever you want to control from the tilt. Now the smaller you make the circle here the less you'll have to tilt it for it to make contact. The bigger you make the circle the further you'll have to tilt it for it to make contact. The wire here itself doesn't matter much just a nice thin gauge magnet wire works fine. Um, I actually had some off an old microwave fan and I used that to make this and it worked perfectly fine. And then I just had a piece of scrap, copper, bigger, thicker stuff that I used for that. But I mean, you see how simple this is. And then I have the two terminals. I mean, your positive or negative would go here and then your other terminal would go here. And when they touch, it completes your circuit. I mean, that's all there is to it. This cost me nothing to build. And like I said, you can make it in a smaller scale. Another thing you could do is eliminate, instead of having the, the copper ring, you could use a piece of uh, tubing, as long as it was electrically conductive, and then like have your weight at the bottom, and so when it goes, it'll just the weight will contact the side of the tube, and that'll complete your circuit. Just make sure everything's electrically conductive, like if you use the uh, magnet wire and then used a sinker, which would actually a fishing sinker would work the best, that would make a good contact, but... All right, with that, I don't think there's really anything else to go over. I mean, you can see how basically simple this is to construct. Um, it took me like a total probably 15 minutes, and half that time was just scrounging and finding some plastic that I cut up and then looked through my salvaged nuts and bolts. And then just a couple minutes to sand the wire and throw it together. So, all right, well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. Uh, if you found this information useful, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of uh, videos and microcontrollers and electronic stuff and a few um, videos here and there on uh, like lawnmower and chainsaw repair stuff, but mostly electronics. So, all right, have a great day. Hello, and welcome to
to the Z-Hut. Today I would like to show you how to build a basic tilt sensor. Now there are tilt sensors you can buy already made little digital electronic ones for using with your microcontrollers or stuff and uh, those work good but hey what if you're in a bind or I mean you needed it right now or you just prefer to build your own because this cost me almost nothing I used all recycled parts to build this and I did build it uh, a little bit bigger than needed just for the demonstration so it's easier to see um, for most projects you could build this in a smaller scale and it follows the same principles and there's also a couple other ways these can be constructed but this is the easiest and most basic so I thought I'd uh, throw one together to show you how it's done now this um, would be the kind you know you might most likely find in like a pinball machine or a coin pusher or something of that nature and what it is is I got this little stand coming up then I got a copper wire coming down and I put a weight on it now for right now I just got a screw wrapped around it I was going to dig around later and try to find my fishing tackle and probably clamp on a decent sized sinker to the bottom and that would work perfect but just for now I got a screw stuck on the bottom any kind of weight just as long as it's not heavy enough to snap your wire because I just got some thin gauge magnet wire then I took some heavier gauge copper wire and I just used a piece of uh, PCB or PVC um, pipe to make a nice little circle and then soldered it together so we've got two terminals. We've got one terminal that hooks to the little loop and the other terminal that hooks to the little wire and you have to sand both of these were enameled so I just took and sanded them off and got them nice and clean and then I tinned this wire just to make sure it was good and clean. And what happens when you tilt it so far it'll come into contact and close the circuit so if you had this like you're hooking it to an Arduino or um, a Raspberry Pi or some other microcontroller even a, you could use this to activate the 555 timer that you've set up as a buzzer again when it contacts it just completes the circuit and activates whatever you want to control from the tilt now the smaller you make the circle here the less you'll have to tilt it for it to make contact the bigger you make the circle the further you'll have to tilt it for it to make contact the wire here itself doesn't matter much, just a nice thin gauge magnet wire works fine. Um, I actually had some off an old microwave fan and I used that to make this and it worked perfectly fine. And then I just had a piece of scrap, copper, bigger, thicker stuff that I used for that. But I mean you see how simple this is and then I have the two terminals I mean, your positive or negative will go here and then your other terminal would go here and when they touch it completes your circuit I mean that's all there is to it this cost me nothing to build and like I said you can make it in a smaller scale another thing you could do is eliminate instead of having the, the copper ring you could use a piece of uh, tubing as long as it was electrically conductive and then like have your weight at the bottom and so when it goes it'll just the weight will contact the side of the tube and that'll complete your circuit. Just make sure everything's electrically conductive like if you use the uh, magnet wire and then used a sinker which would actually a fishing sinker would work the best that would make a good contact but alright with that I don't think there's really anything else to go over I and mean, you can see how basically simple this is to construct. Um, it took me like a total probably 15 minutes and half that time was just scrounging and finding some plastic that I cut up and then look through my salvaged nuts and bolts and then just a couple minutes to sand the wire and throw it together so alright well I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today uh, if you found this information useful please give me a thumbs up also please consider subscribing I do a lot of uh, videos and microcontrollers and electronic stuff and a few um, videos here and there on uh, like lawnmower and chainsaw repair stuff but mostly electronics so alright have a great day